Selma is like really light. Like I can already tell. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video for you guys. This video is going to be actually an unboxing video. I posted, uh, I think about two weeks ago, I posted a poll onto my uh, YouTube asking you guys which helmet I should get. The Scorpion Exo Air Carbon, something like that. Uh, if I should get that helmet or just go all out and get the AGV Pista Double R. And uh, I'm gonna pop a little screenshot from like all the way back then. I think I took the votes after two days, I'll give you guys two days to vote. And I took the votes from that and bought the helmet that you guys decided. So just to show you guys, I actually care what you guys think and uh, in the direction of the channel. Plus I've always liked uh, both helmets, so I didn't mind either to be honest. I do realize that the Scorpion is actually a better daily helmet than the AGV, but the AGV just has that wow factor. I've always wanted one and I know that's gonna be louder and more uh, pretty much not as comfortable. I don't know how the quality is. I'm using a new mic, uh, a Rode mic. Also, if you guys are curious about my vlogging setup, either what I'm using right now or what I use on the helmet, I have all of these links in the description as well as chin mounts. I have that link in the description because that's what I use now. It's way better than the arms, it doesn't shake and all that stuff. And I actually did order new chin mounts for the AGV. I'm just waiting on that before I can install that and I'm gonna make a video installing it and just actually like putting the setup together. So without further ado, let's open it up. Hopefully it was the right size too. I also got a visor with it. I learned from my mistakes and I didn't go with a dark visor. This is 50% tint. So it's not dark, it's kind of like a light tint just so I'm not blinded by the sun during the day, you know what I mean? So I got that visor. Put that right here. Interesting. Bracing fit. I've never seen that with a helmet before. Apparently it's like a bunch of pads that I can attach certain places and it just says racing fit. I don't know, it's just a bunch of AGV stuff, I guess. That's what happens when you buy a $1,500 helmet. And just wait guys, I have a little bit more of a surprise. Oh, that's cool. It's like a camel, camel back. Oh, it's for the water thing. Cause you, it has like a hose and you can actually drink water from if you have the backpack, the water backpack. You can drink water through this thing. And this is, I guess how you set it up. So that's interesting. Oh, hold on a second. I think I ordered an extra extra visor because this is the dark one. I was actually kind of like 50-50 about it. I was like, wow, that looks pretty dark, but I thought maybe because of the quality or whatever, it's not going to be as dark, but I'm assuming this is the 50% shade that I ordered. So for you guys to see the difference, this, this one almost looks clear, but this one is actually dark, so that's great. Now I have three visors. I have the clear one, which I'll probably never use, the 50%, and the dark. And now onto the actual helmet. All right, let me set this up. Where should I set this up? Should I set it up on the H2? Let's set it up on the H2. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. All right, H2 makes great mounts as well. ton of padding to keep the helmet protected as I would expect when you spend that much money on a helmet ah, this is for like the anti-fog I believe yeah fog resistant lens you attach that into the like inside I believe of your visor and it won't be fogging as much so that up there too and to the actual Reveal. This is a nice like premium bag or what it's not. It's not a bag. I don't know what to call it. All right, let me 
I got another weird thing. I don't know what that is. Gee, I've never bought a helmet with that many attachments. That's crazy. Oh. To the actual helmet reveal. Jesus. First impressions, this helmet is like really light. Like I can already tell. Oh, I'm about to get the first look. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot wait to wear this. This looks insane. Told you guys there's gonna be a little bit extra surprise. I don't know if you guys can see it from this angle, but not any AGV piece to RR. I got the one, the Iridium one, which is a limited edition one. It has sort of a like, it looks insane. I'm just like taking this in right now. It has sort of a like a metallic purple blue flakes. I have no idea if you guys can see it, but I totally see it. And let's try it on. Size, whoa, that flew off onto the H2. Good thing I have a clear bra on the tank. But yeah, so this is like a limited edition one. It's not just regular carbon, but let me tell you guys, this is worth it. I'm probably gonna get another helmet in the future because I don't wanna ruin this and make it my daily. But I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. I'm a size medium small, so AGV has this like half sizes. It goes from like small to like medium small to medium large and like large, it's it's like weird. So I tried them on at the Dainese store and figured out that I was a medium small. So let's try it on for the first time. DOT certified. So Okay, hold on. Actually, I need to take off. Let's make it satisfying for you guys. I hope that's a, that was satisfying because it was for me. Now, let me put this on. It is definitely more snug. That medium small size is kind of like more on the smaller size. I'm a perfect medium. So it's definitely a little more snug, but this is legit. This is legit. It has like this locking thing too, which I don't know. Oh, it's a button. I don't even think you guys could hear me, but it is a button to release the lock. Oh, I really want to see myself. Oh, I can see myself in the reflection on the H2. This home is cool. I'm doing like a little fashion shoot for you guys. <laughs> oh, definitely a little snug, but what a work of art. I definitely cannot wait to wear this riding. It has its ECE certification too, so you can, obviously I can take this on the track, it's a track helmet pretty much. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me put this in way. I just wanted, like my first time seeing it in the reveal to be, show you guys pretty much the helmet and all of that. Let me put this thing away now, because I'm actually going on a ride on the HU, which is coming up in the next video. So keep watching, or Turn your notifications on, not keep watching, because it's not gonna be this video, it's gonna be the next one. <laughs> All right, please don't drop the helmet. I'm kind of like trying to rush, which is scary with this helmet. This bag thing is pretty tight. Package secured. Oh, can't wait to wear the helmet. All right, that's pretty much it. You guys made this decision for me. I know it's not the best daily helmet, as I said, but you know, I just went with it. You guys, the votes were clearly wanting the AGV, so that's what I did. Now, it's time to ride this beast. That'll be in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Please like, subscribe, 
or just support the channel. And if you guys want any of my the setup that I use, check out the links in the description. Later, guys.